Hey everyone, it's Summer with Astaria Sun and we are doing the weekly creative energy reading. I'm so excited about these. I love doing these. I really, 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 really do. So if you're just joining me, please hit that subscribe button. I do tarot readings. I do fae stuff. I do creative art stuff. Um, just a little bit of everything. I'm pagan. So if any of that kind of stuff interests you, please let me know and comment on my videos, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, whatever you want to do. Works for me. You're just, if you're coming back, thanks for joining me again. And I hope that last week you got some creative stuff going because I did. All right. So last week we talked about, um, we talked about colors, stars, mirrors, water, fish, turtles. The colors were like golds and browns and blues and pinks and purples and there was just a lot going on in the cards last week so I was going to share with you some of the stuff that I made and I focused more on colors because I'm getting ready for a um, sale tomorrow which is Monday um March 9th yeah sales March 9th tomorrow so um I'll leave a link in the description about where my sale is going to be it's at the Mystic Bazaar on uh Facebook anyways it's a VIP group and I do VIP sales once a month in it. So these are my little VIP pieces I made using the colorings that I was um, focusing on from the cards last week. So browns and golds, okay? Of course, I did go outside of that realm as well. So first up is I made a little like goldish dragon. It's my dragon. Isn't she cute? I like her a lot. I like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like the gold. Like, it's even got, like, a shiny, glittery almost aspect to it. Like, gold, you know? Gold. <laughs> and then the browns. So, I made a fairy house. A little shoe fairy house out for my brown. Um, and then I used the gold again in a beard for a gnome leprechaun Woo! isn't he cute i really like him this is the first time i've made this style of like gnome so i'm really excited about that normally they have like giant feet but i really like this style for like leprechaun -y kind of stuff and since it is march and it is spring coming and the spring equinox and the St. Patrick's Day and stuff like that, I thought these guys would be perfect. So I have several of those that are going to be up for sale too. And then I went ahead and this is kind of outside the ballpark, but you know what? Creativity is creativity and it doesn't mean you have to use the colors or the designs in the cards as long as it sparks something for you. So I went on with my fairy houses and I created this fairy house. And I hand painted it and I hand sculpted it. So those are the things that I'm going to show you from my art from this last week. I actually made 10 pieces, but I'm not going to show you all 10 pieces because that wouldn't be fair to my group because my group gets to see all my pieces first. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and move on. I am still using the chrysalis deck. Um, I'm going to do some shuffling. We're going to pull two cards and then we're going to talk about how we can put those two cards into our creative art for energy, for inspiration, for whatever we want this week. And it doesn't matter what kind of art you do. I, I say it in every single video and I'll say it again. It doesn't matter if you're a writer. It doesn't matter if you're a sculptor, painter, collage maker, baker, <laughs> gardener. You can find something to apply. If you're gardening, it might be color related or maybe it inspires you to to do your garden in a certain direction or you know those kinds of things if you're a collage maker maybe one of the pieces on the cards if you know if it was a fish maybe you can collage a fish out of a bunch of different magazines pieces i'm not sure just one of those things if you're a writer you can add fish to your writing you could i mean the, the it's endless it's endless really really endless so don't be afraid to use the cards for inspiration don't be afraid if Whatever comes to your mind, let it come to your mind. Let it let it do its thing, okay? All right, so getting ready to pull some cards here. Whoop, whoop. Come on, go back together. They don't like to go together very well, and I'm not big on the ripple shuffling of these cards specifically. So we'll just work with it. Okay, I'm going to spread them out. Pick my two cards. First card for this week is... here uh, and then I 
gonna shuffle again and pull the second card. Wah, wah, wah. There we go. All right, card number two for this week. There you are, right there. Ooh, we've got some good energy going on in here. We're back in the mirrors though. We are right back into cups. Cups is a thing this week, which is interesting because we have the supermoon, which is about high emotion and we're coming out of Mercury retrograde and all of those fun things. So the first card we pulled is called the Sojourner. He's the king of mirrors. Look at him. This has got some fantastic colorings in it. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Look at that horse. Wow, it's fantastic. And you know, kings are really about that um, focus and management, self-confidence, those kinds of things. He's leading the horse too. It's, he's leading it. Uh, or con maybe not so much leading it as controlling it. Maybe that's what it's about, controlling where the ho what the horse is doing or where it's trying to go, I think, because he's just standing there. Okay, awesome sauce. All right, and the second one is four of mirrors. Pretty card. Look at the mermaid, guys. Mermaids are fey. I like fey cards. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I was scratching my arm. But look at the fish. Oh, look at her hair. Oh, she's so pretty. All right, so... She is a four, which means that there's definitely some inward focus, some stability. Um, fours are structure-based, you know, foundation-based. And there is a sense of dualities with fours, too, because they, you know, two and two makes four. So there's a, a sense of duality or balance there that, I, that, that can be seen. And then there's also the sense that four is right before five. Four is like that creative process right before you hit a point of change. So that could be something that's important for you. So we have control, inward focus, uh, heading towards something that was that's going to change. And it might change in your art or maybe your perspective or maybe your inspiration. Who knows? Who knows? But you, when you focus on that foundation and you focus on that inward stuff to create. So that's what you need to work on mainly is self-control, focus. All right. seems like focus has been a lot of our um, readings lately, but I think that's important because if we're not focusing, we're not getting anything done, right? All right, so let's take a look at what we can use in the cards for our art, starting with our king. So there's male energy, so you can add male energy to anything that you're doing. Um, purples, browns, blues. Look at these different colored blues, like seriously. Plus the gold, the filigree. The filigree itself can be a design you use in an art project. Look at his boots. Maybe you want to make shoes or hooves or horseshoes for luck because it's March, right? And we're getting ready to come up on St. Patrick's Day. Um, and then we have these. They're not really pillars. But uh, they kind of look like little spears or something like that. But they could be used as a wand or anything you want to just pull it pull it out. And then you've got the grass down here, the rocks down here. Look at this design with the flowers. So you can even use flowers in your art. And if you're a gardener, guess what? Planting season's almost here. Have you figured out what flowers you're going to be doing? I haven't either, so don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the mermaid. Oh, that's such a pretty blue. I really like that blue. And I like the pink, the light pink and the light greens that are that are like intermixing in her tail. They're really pretty. Of course, there's the mirrors. So reflection, obviously, right? Um, so you can still do stuff with mirrors. You can still do stuff with fish. You can still do stuff with water. You can still do stuff with hair, female energy. Uh, maybe you have a mermaid in a story that you want to write about. Or maybe you're writing about a king in a poem and a mermaid in a poem. Um, there's just lots of stuff. Oh, look, there's a little turtle down here that almost escaped my notice. And the waves, look at how this water and stuff is flowing in this. I mean, it's not like super apparent, but you could definitely tell the water is moving. There is movement there. So maybe you need to make a fluid piece. Um, maybe a sleeping person, a sleeping animal, a sleeping being could be a uh, part of your piece or your drawing. If you're crocheting, these blue colors are so pretty for different crochet projects um, and the pinks, you know. Maybe you want to crochet a baby blanket. Maybe somebody's having a, because these light colors, that's what they remind me of is like baby colors. 
<laughs> and it could be that I have baby on the brain too, because I'm going to be a grandma in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so actually April 6th is when they hope to be having the baby. So yeah. So, um, uh, congrats to me for being a grandma soon. I keep talking about it, but it's, it's still coming. It's still coming. I promise. <laughs> so I hope you guys uh, got something from this, from these inspiring cards. I really like the chrysalis deck. It's very uh, good for inspiration. It gives you a lot of details. It gives you a lot to really go from, a lot to concentrate on, um, a lot of design in the cards, which is really good for inspiration when you're just looking for something to just jump off of, a jumping point of any kind. So pick something. Pick something in these cards and tell me below what you want to make something out of, okay? Or what you want to make with it. It doesn't matter what it is doesn't matter what it is. I just want to know because I'm curious like that and I like crafting stuff. So, and I show you mine. It's fair, right? You, you can tell me yours. <laughs> All right. So you guys have a very creative week and I will see you again next Sunday with another reading.